Okay, so today we're just going to show you how to take off the maintenance message on the HP LaserJet P4014, 4015, and 4515. Each one has a different code that you have to put in for it. In this one, we're doing the 45, or excuse me, the P4015. Um, but in the description below, I'll have all the codes that you'll need to take the maintenance message off, whichever printer you might have. So. Uh, generally, you'll walk up and you'll see it'll go to ready, but then it'll also, <clears throat> excuse me, it'll also flash the order maintenance kit mode. A lot of times, this is just going to hit at certain page intervals. So, when this comes from the factory, it's set at 225,000 pages. When it comes from, I like, but it, when we get into the service menu, you'll see that you can set that maintenance interval to whatever page count you want. Um, but this one is probably set to the factory settings, so we'll go in and show you how to manipulate this. So what you'll need to do is just get into your menus and then just scroll down to the service menu. And then when you click on the service menu, it's going to come to uh, the place where you need to put your service pin or code in. So I'm not going to read the code out loud. Like I said, it will be in the description below. And you can just enter that code in. Just use the buttons up and down to scroll to your numbers and hit OK. Once you get to the last one, when you enter the last one, it'll automatically shift you into the service menu. So in here, you can clear event logs. You can do total page count. Like, you could knock that down to whatever you wanted. It has a refurbished page count. Um, here's the maintenance count, which is at... Uh, just right at the, about the interval at, uh, where it's going to give you the message. I'm not going to change it right now, but here's where you could change the interval if you wanted. And then if you want to, you can manipulate the serial number if you needed to, if you put a different formatter in it. And then you can also cold reset the paper. So uh, basically, we'll just go back up and reset the uh, maintenance count. So on this one, you just hit the down arrow and it'll scroll. Just let it scroll all the way back to zero. Once it comes to zero, it'll automatically stop. And then you just hit OK. And once you hit OK, it'll give a little asterisk next to it. And then that setting's been saved. And then you're still in the service menu, but if you just back out of it, you'll go back to ready. And as you can see, it just sits in ready and the maintenance message is off. So, like I said, a lot of our clients aren't on the regular maintenance intervals because, to be honest with you, half the time, um, you know, the, the reason they do this is just as a guideline of maybe replacing a fuser or doing, like, the transfer roller and the pickup rollers and all that. You're never going to get to this page count, most likely. Um, don't care if you're using HPM OEM parts or remanufactured parts. Transfer rollers will last a long time. Fusers probably never make it to 225,000, and paper pickup rollers definitely never make it to that level. So, um, like I said, it's it's just kind of a thing that comes up, and we don't really pay a whole lot of attention to it, um, just because, again, we're on our own maintenance schedules um, and replacing those parts at different intervals anyway. So, any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks. See ya.